Hello everyone, my name is Ederson Oliveira and I'll be presenting this video for dnnhere.com on how to install a new module in your .NET Took website. So as you can see here, I have my test uh, local uh, .NET Took website open. And here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go through the scenario that uh, you have purchased uh, a module and you want to upload this module to your .NET Took website. So, just to give you a quick and a brief a look into uh, snowcover.com. Snowcover.com is the official .NET Nuke marketplace where you can find skins, you can find modules and uh, tutorials. I mean, you can find a whole bunch of things related to, to .NET Nuke. Um, so, let's say that you have purchased a module from snowcover.com. You decided to extend some functionalities of your existing uh, .NET Nuke website. You have purchased a module and now you want to upload that module to your website. Uh, for the for this demo, for this video, I'm gonna uh, upload a module called uh, Power Login from Coding Stuff. Coding Stuff is one of the uh, .NET Nuke vendors that they, they provide skins, modules, so you can find them very easily uh, in, at Snow Covered. So here's the module I'm gonna install. Let me see if I can find it here. Snow Covered. So here's the one. So I'm just gonna give a uh, big thanks to, and I most likely I'm gonna get your name wrong, but I ask you, Serge to write back to me if I have mispronounced your name. But uh, I just want to give a big thanks to Serge Barisiuk. Barisiuk. Serge Barisiuk, that's the best that I can pronounce, uh, for, for providing me with a power login so I can use in this in this video. Okay, thank you. So here it is. Uh, that's our website. I'm going to log in as host. You have to log in as, as host to be able to install a new module. And your new module will be uh, presented here in the module drop-down. So let's go to the host and module definition definitions menu. So from here, you can go to the pull-down menu to the triangle and then click on style new module. When you download the module from Snow Covered, usually you get a zip file that uh, you have to upload as you're gonna do right now. Okay, I just have to find the module. Here it is. Okay, usually uh, the zip file that uh, will be provided from Snow Covered is the file that you have to upload directly. But in some cases, uh, the name of the file will say something like uh, please unzip or unzip this file because this the zip that you're going to download from Snow Cover sometimes it's not the final it's not the private assembly installation uh, package that uh, you need to upload sometimes the, the installation zip file is inside the zip file of uh, the the module that you have purchased but uh, usually again they they will mention that in the name of the zip file they will say something like please unzip this file so here is my here's the module that I want to install I have selected click open and then I'm gonna go through the wizard the installation wizard in my DNN website click next just gonna see a, a summary of uh, the details of this module Next again, just some release notes, some vendors they do add some information here, some they don't. Click next. That The last agreement as well, some will mention a whole bunch of things, some will just leave it as is and they don't mention much. Just click on accept license, hit next, and then you're gonna see uh, the log of the installation process. If everything goes right, you will not see any red flags in the installation. So in our case, installation was successful. Uh, if, if you get any problems installing your module, 
you're gonna see some red flags. If you see any red flags and you don't know what's going on, the best thing that I advise you is copy the installation, uh, the, the error message that you got during installation and send that to the vendor so you can work that out with them. Usually the vendors are very responsive with any errors that may occur with uh, during the installation. Okay, so once the installation is done, click return. Now uh, you you should be able to see your new module under the list of modules installed on your website. So here is my new module. Okay, um, and it should be also available under the module drop-down. Here it is. Just for the sake of testing, I'm going to go to site settings. Sorry, no. We're going to go to add a new page just to add the new module that I have just uploaded. Click update and I can just click on my new module and let me add to the page. So here's the new module that I have just uploaded. Uh, this is a uh, this is again just for the sake of the, the demonstration how to add a new module to dot net look website. Okay, so this is it. Um, the reason why you are seeing vi visible by administrator only is just because I have not set up the permission properly. So if I go back to settings, I can just say all users. Click update. Message is gone. Okay, so. This is basically the way you're going to go about installing a new module into your .NET NUC website. Thank you.